the legal opinion launch and panel discussion on the topic, Director's Duties and Responsibilities, and Disclosure Obligations under Philippine Law on Climate Change Risks. As the President of ICD Philippines, I am honored to host this event, which highlights ICD's commitment to promoting good governance and sustainability practices in the corporate sector. Climate change is one of the most pressing challenges of our time, and it is affecting not only our environment, but also our economies and societies. This has prompted governments and businesses across the world to take decisive action to transition to a new economic model that is aligned with the Paris Agreement's objective of net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050 or earlier. With the Global Risk Report 2022 stating that we rank first in the world in risk exposure to natural disasters, including events which are predicted to become more frequent and more severe as climate change worsens, that the country is extremely vulnerable to climate-related and geological hazards. To drive the point, our children in the region will witness increased losses in coastal settlements and infrastructure due to flooding caused by unavoidable sea level rise. This, however, is not just about protecting the environment. Climate change poses material financial risks to companies and their business models, potentially undermining not just the financial system, but also the real economy. Without climate action, according to the World Bank, economic damages in the Philippines could possibly reach up to 7.6% of GDP by 2030 and 13.6% of GDP by 2040. This is why the UN has formed partnerships with the private sector to find solutions. And many in the private sector have responded, not only because it is the right thing to do, but also because first, being early movers and spotting opportunities in the transition is very good for business. Second, in some cases, like in the fossil fuel industry, doing nothing is existential. And third, climate action is increasingly what clients and markets are demanding of businesses. How does climate change pose risks to companies? And then secondly, what do directors need to do about this in order to meet their legal duties? Physical risks are probably uh, among the first things you think about when considering climate change. As the IPCC has told us, climate change increases the severity and likelihood of extreme weather events, as well as having gradual onset effects such as rising sea levels, ocean acidification, and changing climactic temperatures. The IPCC tells us that climate change is likely to make extreme weather events more likely and more severe, and the Philippines is particularly exposed to these risks. The Global Climate Risk Index in 2021 found that it was the fourth most impacted country for the preceding two decades between 2000 and 2019. As the policy changes and regulatory changes needed to achieve these goals come into effect, we should expect to see transition risks. These are the risks which businesses face as a result of the change to net zero. They can come from policy and regulatory developments and also from consumer preference and technological changes, as well as changes in public opinion. Legal risks uh, include litigation and regulatory risks associated with the previous two categories of risk. There have been more than 2,000 climate-related cases now brought around the world 
Historically, these have been brought against governments and government bodies, but now we're starting to see a movement in which corporations and their boards are being held accountable. There are risks for companies and boards which are being increasingly recognised, but there are also opportunities. We know what the impacts are and what they will be. We know what the risks are and how they will develop. And we know what the opportunities are and which will become available. Boards need to take action to seize this and ensure that their companies thrive in the coming years.